The suspected Ebola case was talked about at a gathering today of hospital CEOs. The Healthcare Association says it began preparing for such a case months ago. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz has the story new at 6. Ebola was top of mind in a Waikiki hotel today. It happened to be a regularly scheduled meeting of hospital execs. We had SARS, we had H1N1, and now we have Ebola. Um, Ebola is frightening to people. They're watching just as tragic events unfold in West Africa, and they're thinking about Hawaii, and, well, could it ever come to Hawaii, and what would happen if it did? Claremont reassures the risk of an Ebola outbreak here is extremely low, but the hospitals have an 18-point action plan thanks to SARS, which he says is a far more infectious respiratory disease, far more easily spread than Ebola. We built procedures and, and agreements among different agencies at that time that we reviewed this summer in anticipation of this, and they are in place today. He points to two floors of medical equipment that's been built up over the years. His staff showed us special isolation units that could be tapped if need be to transport an infectious patient from an airplane. Back when SARS was the big concern, we uh, procured this uh, device, and or it enabled us to transport patients predominantly inter island or elsewhere. It offers the highest protection to move a sick patient from one facility to another. This uh, isolation chamber allows us to care for the patient, hence the gloves. Uh, you can manipulate things. You have uh, entry points over here where you could put IV or monitoring uh, cables, whatever it takes to monitor that particular patient. And the staff remains ready to spring into action with mobile hospitals bringing goods and expertise wherever it's needed. What we do is look at extra stockpiles for personal protective equipment. You've all seen on TV the masks and the hoods and the suits. We've got those. We've got them, a, a lot of them. Uh, we've got the capability uh, through a containment vessel to move infected people if we had to do that. So the bottom line is health officials say that for all these years they have been preparing to respond to a medical emergency like Ebola or some other infectious disease, so there's no need to panic. Incidentally, they've only had to use that isolation unit once in the last decade and involved the situation with the Coast Guard, but it turned out to be a false alarm. Back to you.